Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. We're gonna talk about Walmart. You remember all the years where people are just mocking Walmart? I don't wanna go into Walmart. It's just sort of low class. I'm more of a Target kind of shopper. Well, we're here at Walmart right now because I got a great story for you and it's about inflation and this is crazy. Here's the title, it's out of Yahoo. Walmart keeps gaining high income shoppers as amid stubborn inflation in the grocery aisle. Now we've been doing stories about how grocery stores in the UK, and I believe that's gonna come to the US this year, sometime in 2023, probably towards quarter three or quarter four, where we are seeing rationing of fresh produce and vegetables, or fresh produce and fruits. Um, it is very important that people understand that this does have the possibility, not only happening in the UK, which is happening right now in multiple grocery chains, but coming here in America. But the facts are, that food is increasing in price like, I mean, honestly, did you believe it? Did you believe if you were told five years ago that you were gonna see massive, massive inflation, um, food costs out, out of the control? And I will tell you that I believe that there will be a day where you see armed guards on bread trucks in America. I know that sounds crazy. That's not doom or gloom. It's where we're headed, okay? We are going through a currency cycle. Our currency is losing uh, value rapidly. We are seeing all kinds of crazy things with supply chains, geopolitical threats that uh, literally will harm our food supply chain. If everything from fertilizer um, and fuel to actual the actual product making it to our stores, all right? So I wanna go over this story, okay? Walmart reported its fiscal 2023 fourth quarter results that topped Wall Street estimates. Q4 revenue for Walmart came in at $164, just a little bit over, um, sorry, totally thrown off. It's the sound of those carts behind me, it always throws me off. Q4 revenue for Walmart came in at 164 billion, an increase of about 7.3% year over year, while adjusted earnings per share came in at $1.71. Shares of the Bentonville, Arkansas-based retailer fell um, down more than 2% at market open after its updated fiscal 2024 outlook for its US businesses, okay? So let's, we're gonna talk just about US businesses. Came in lower than analyst expectations. However, man, isn't that crazy? This is the theme, analyst expectations are wrong. Doesn't matter you went, where you went to school and what degree you got, ironically, they're all wrong. And that should be the theme of 2023. I believe that is gonna be it. We're gonna see consistent wrong calls, wrong calls, wrong calls. The Wall Street being surprised and shocked by these numbers, but it shouldn't be surprising to you, okay? Very simply put, geopolitical tensions uh, coupled with raising interest rates, you are gonna see inflation uh, and supply chain issues. That's it, all right? Now, uh, it says right here, net sales for Walmart came in in the US came in at 8% higher year over year of 113 billion for quarter four fiscal year 2023. The company noted that it saw continued strong market share gains in grocery, including high income households. That is very, very important because, you know, for years, high income households have said, I'm not shopping there. I'm going to this uh, designer place. I'll get be honest with you. Across the street, there's an Albertsons. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Albertsons. This Albertsons uh, is one of the highest grossing Albertsons in the entire country. As a matter of fact, I think it may still be the highest one. It's in Paso Robles, California. Um, <laughs> so many people I know, the hoity toity people that are super fancy and rich pulling up in their Range Rovers across the way. You know what, I'm just curious. Let's see if there's any Range Rovers. No, but there's like an $80,000 Jeep truck right there. Uh, point being is that, you know, all the fancy people go and shop over there, but we're seeing more and more of those people literally go, eh, maybe they won't see me. I'll slide into Walmart and I'll get some food that is much lower priced than Albertsons or Whole Paycheck. I mean, Whole Market. Whole Foods? Whatever. Whole Paycheck is what I call it. Actually, that I took that from my buddy, Kevin. Um, it says right here that... that uh, uh, sorry, boosted by higher uh, higher income people. Sorry, I'm totally thrown off now with the whole paycheck thing. <laughs> it said U.S. Uh, same store store sales for the quarter increased 8.3%, 8, 8 ex excluding fuel for the 13 week period that ended on January 27th of 2023. Um, overall, sales were boosted in strength by food categories, private brand sales, and higher ticket and store transactions. Transactions increased 1.8%, and the average ticket also was higher, up 6.3%. December of 2022 saw the largest sales volume in the retail's history. 
Think about this, this is insane. Compared to two years ago, same store sales increased 13.9%. Meanwhile, operating income increased only 3.8% to 5.4 billion due to a decline in gross profit rate, particular, particularly offset by operating expense leverage. In addition to lower sustainability income, However, benefits from membership income growth up 7% offset that. All right, so that's, they're talking about Sam's Club. All right, so let me explain this. So we've talked about this before. Margins are shrinking. They were up here, they're now down here. Walmart, just like any other store, is trying to compete with the Targets and other companies out there. Uh, I can't talk about Kmart anymore, they're gone. JC Penney's. All those other stores are gone. All right, whatever. We're getting close, right? But Walmart has to still compete the in-store brick and mortar stores with like online giants like Amazon, right? They're constantly trying to keep their prices low, lower than the competition. And that's shown by people coming to Walmart and shopping for their grocery stores, right? Their groceries, because they're too tired of paying these higher prices. Now, but think about this. You can only smash your margin down so low to where you're going, we could barely uh, ink out a profit and we need to ink out a profit. We need to show profits because our shareholders will get ticked and they'll sell our shares and then our shares collapse. And now we have a hard time raising money, all kinds of issues happen there, right? So they've now, their margins are super tight. Now what they're doing, they're raising prices, all right? But as long as they stay underneath Whole Paycheck and Albertsons and all those companies, they're gonna be um, Safeway and all those other grocers, they're still gonna be selling, right? You're gonna see more people pulling their, uh, their fancy uh, Range Rovers instead of in front of a fancy store, they're gonna pull it, or like Trader Joe's, they're gonna pull it into a Walmart, right? Because they can't afford not to. Now the December sales that were a blowout, think of it this way. Of course, December is gonna be a blowout month because of the Christmas season, the holiday season, right? But you now are seeing people that would normally during the Christmas season shopped at other retailers like Target, now moving over to places like Walmart because they might as well shop there because the prices are gonna be lower than at these other places. We have not seen this. As a matter of fact, since I've been investing in my investing career, I think this is really exciting to watch human beings shift their perception and their insecurities. You know, when they're insecure about being seen at let's say a Walmart, um, they, they're now going there higher net worth and higher income earners. I shouldn't say net worth, totally different thing than higher income. Uh, earners are now moving their entire, th uh, you know, the way they do their shopping to lower end uh, retailers, lower, you know, because of the price, because of inflation. Guys, this is exciting. This is where you wanna be uh, getting ready for because you're gonna start to see Walmart sales slip too. You're gonna see more and more stories coming out in 2023. I believe, in my non-professional opinion, I'm not an analyst that's always wrong, but I will say that I believe that you're gonna see the sales, again, we're focusing around groceries, consumer staples, right? Um, you're gonna see the sales falling off a cliff for big screen TVs, electronics, um, gift cards, whatever, I mean, Dude, it is absolutely insane. This 2023 is gonna be uh, wrapping up to be, I think, a stellar year for those that are getting prepared and aren't scared. All right, guys, that being said, I thank you so much for watching. The Economic Ninja is out.